Yo guys, Chris here, and we're going to be talking about a lot of things of Forza Horizon 4, including the 95 confirmed cars, the VIP confirmed cars, the UI leaks, and the map leaks. So, I did a video back when the trailer came out on the 26 cars we saw from the trailer, but there's been a lot of cars that have came out based on new gameplay from IGN, and other type of demos so i'm going to say them all right now uh the manufacturer and year and stuff uh, i'm just going to go through it here uh acro nsx illuminate craft class 10 race car aerial nomad Aston martin db5 11 vulcan uh audi audi quattro the austin taxi the austin healy mach 3 and the Sprite Mach 1, the Bentley Supercharged, the Bentley Ventega, the Continental Supersports, the BMW A, M1, M2, Coupe, M5, the Buller X EXRS, the Bugatti Chiron, Dodge Viper ACR, Eagle Speedster, Ferrari 488 GTB, FXK, Ford F40 as well. The Ford Trophy Truck, Fiesta, the Escort RS 1600 and 1800, the Gemcana Focus RS RX, Ranger T6 Rally Raid, and the SVT Mustang Cobra. Honda Ridgeline Baja Trophy Truck, Hoonigan RX7, and Porsche 911. International Scout, Jaguar E-Type, F-Type, and XJ220. Jeep Trail Cat, Koenigsegg Regera, Lamborghini Aventador Centenario, Countach, Lancia Foldia Coupe Rally, I probably said that wrong, and Lancia Stratos Stradale, Land Rover Defender, Ran Range Rover Classic, Range Rover Sport SVR, Local Motors Rally Fighter, Lotus Esprit V8, McLaren 570S, P1, and Senna, Mercedes Benz, AMG, Mercedes GTR, and A45 AMG, the MG Metro, MGA Twin Can, and MGB GT. The Mini Austin Cooper S. The Mitsubishi Lancer e Evolution X, otherwise known as the Evo. The Morgan Three Wheeler. The Morris Meyer. The Nissan Silvia S15. The Skyline GTR R34. And the Titan Warrior Concept. Bugani Huayar and Huayar BC. Penhall Chala Class 10. Plymouth GTX Hemi. Polaris RZR. Porsche 9. 11 GT2, GT2 RS, 718, GT3 RS, G and Turbo, 3.3, 911, 918 Spider, and Cayman GT4, the Ram Power Wagon, the Renault Alpine, A110, RJ Anderson, Polaris Rockstar, Trophy Truck, Shelby, Daytona Coupe, the Subaru Rally Team WRX, the Impreza WRX STI, the Toyota Trophy Truck, the Helix Arctic Truck, and the Land Cruising Archer Arctic Truck, the TVR Cerebus Speed 12, the Vauxhall Astra VXR, the Volkswagen Drink Beetle GRC, the El Chacharon Off-Road Racing Baja Bug, and the Desert Zingo Stock Bug, and 2008 Tureg R50. A lot of cars, hopefully you stayed with me there. Uh, I'm not going to put 95 different cars on the screen. Uh, hopefully you know what they are. I'm sorry if you don't. But I don't want this video to be uh, too long as well. Uh, so now let's go over the uh, DLC informa information. I already made a video about what you're going to get with each one of the additions. So I don't have to go over that again. If you didn't see that, uh, just check it out. It's probably one of the most popular videos on my channel. Uh, but we have two pre-order cars that we do know now the first one is the 2017 aston martin db11 pre-order edition and you get it by pre-ordering the game and uh, yeah it's it's fairly simple and we also get the 2016 Porsche 911 gt3 rs and same situation you get if you pre-order pre-order now what we have here is the picture i'm going to be showing you is the ui and also the map leak that i'm going to show you so we've already seen plenty of stuff with the map and all that but i want to show you if you look at the map here you can see it's it's kind of like the crew 2 because back in horizon 3 it would show you like what the place look like but it wouldn't show you like exactly how if this makes sense like it would kind of show you like I, I can't explain it if you played the game you know what i mean 
the way that the map is showed in this game is kind of the crew too where it looks like like you could see every individual tree every individual car that's something you couldn't see on horizon 3 even though i'm talking about also the ui which you can see here from the ta uh, Tarnhouse Scramble. It has the Forza Horizon 4 font. Everything else kind of looks the same. But I want to explain these things on the side here. As you can see, the different little events, like some may look like circuit races, some might look like drag racing. Uh, I'm going to tell you what each one of them means. So, the green is going to be uh, a racing, if you're going to do a race. Uh, the next one is going, next one down is street racing. Uh, the next one is a mini game. The next one is cross country. The next one's mixed surface, and and then they have the drag race point to point event. That's what you can see through these pictures. Uh, if you if you look at them, they're blurred out, but that's exactly what they mean. I skipped the one with three people. Says Horizon Life. So those are the kind of icons we're seeing. Once again, the map leaked just behind us. If you look down again, you can see if we look under where the gamer tags are, uh, we see a lot of the roads are dirt there or not asphalt. And then we look down to the right, we see we have a lot of those asphalt roads going in between trees. Same thing on the top. It looks like we also have on the top here a, a little um, hairpin as well. And if we look up into the top as well top left we can see what the uh, icons look like for when we're doing each one of these different uh blueprints and such so that's just a quick little video here on those new things um, i have a couple more forza horizon 4 videos you're not going to want to miss out on i'm going to be predicting the dlcs i've actually already did a uh, forza or formula drift one uh, what i thought that was but in my live stream i had people ask me uh what they wanted to see and one of them said uh what will the dlc expansions be and another one said possible mini games so i might make videos on those who knows see you guys next time share this video out